So I thought what I'd do today was take the work that I did four months ago and change one character in the call line, or update the library and change one character and see what the Swift 4 version looked like. To generate the Swift code, you have, you just install, you go to Homebrew and you install Swagger CodeGen. Uh, it's a Java application, it seems to work okay. Uh, it has a whole pile of languages that it supports. If you want to do Swift 3, you do Swift 3. That there, that the L, the language flag. If you want to do Swift 4, you switch the language flag to Swift 4. Uh, what is the quality of the code generation? Whatever you would like it to be. It's very, it's, <laughs> it's very Java. Like it's, 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 it's patterns are probably not what you would write as a native Swift developer. But a lot of the purpose of generated code is you don't worry about the implementation detail. Um, and that was the discussion we had last time. So I thought, okay, well, what's changed between my Swift 3 client and my Swift 4 client, given this input's the same? Um, it generates about 10 Swift files. And, the Swift th and, and there's one file that's bigger in Swift 4 but I think they've just decided to implement some other error checking and it's not related to the fact that it's gone from Swift 3 to Swift 4. It's just that the library's moved forward. Anyway, these are the relevant things that suit my agenda this evening. Models.swift was a file that, the, that it generated and it did all the decoding. It generalized the decoding. Is it a, is it a number? Is it a, is it a string? Is it whatever? That was 166 lines, which wasn't that much to be honest, but that's just dropped to 25. That doesn't exist anymore. APIs.swift, uh, I'll show you what these are. They've gone from 57 to 20, uh, 57 to 44. <coughs> and then the event and the event response are the two elements that I defined. That's, that's basically our domain model there. They've gone from 43 lines and 11 to basically header files and Comment. Oh, no, no, that's not excluding the comments, but they've basically dropped 50%. Uh, uh, so all in all, the generated code in Swift 4 land is 65% less, and that's taken almost directly because the frameworks now handle encoding and decoding. I want to run super quickly without showing small text on the screen too much. Um, I'm going to just swap back over... Uh, So, all right, can this go bigger? Maybe not. One sec. I'm going to, oh, no, no options. So on the left is Swift 3. This is Kaleidoscope. It's a good diff app. I've never diffed folders in this before, but it's pretty good. Um, if you take the models, for example, and you look at the event model, which was the key element that we defined in that Swagger file, that's the one that went from, you know, drop 50%. On the left, you've changed from whatever base class they created for us, and that's the file that we didn't like because it was generated and it looked like Java. It's become codable. Um, our sub-event type, like we had an event type that I've defined as an enum that could be one of two things. That's also become codable. And then the variables that we defined, they're the same. And look what's missing. The, the, this is all red on the left. Your JSON encodable crap that they added for you that did all the work is gone. So that's honestly what I expected, but it's good to see it there. If you take the event response type that went from 11 lines to 5 lines to, to 3, same thing. It actually isn't anything. And it, it mirrors exactly what Tom showed. You've got a... If you're representing a JSON object in your Swift, it becomes nothing. It just becomes a simple Swift object with, with the right codable elements. Um, there was not much else. They added a handful of helpers and things, but my point remains. In, in, Swift, in Swift 4 land, your, your borderline, like your generated code, is becoming pretty much boilerplate. What they've basically, the generated code in the case of this Swagger code gen Swift 4 land, <coughs> Not like 50% of what it generates is a wrapper around AF networking. That's it. Um, how m you said it's a wrapper around AF networking, but how much is actually also a wrapper around JSON serialization? 
Because uh, no one uses AF networking. This particular, no, no, this, this, if you wanted to use this particular code generator, it, re it relies on AF networking. So they don't wrap anything up. All they do is wrap, is wrap AF networking, which may or may not be a problem depending on your thing. But um, that, was my, that was my brief experience with, um, with Swift 4 this afternoon. And yeah, minus 65% overall. Looks good. Don't have to have a JSON parsing framework anymore. That excites me a lot. <laughs>